Hey and welcome. I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up virtual green screen in OBS 29 using Stream Effects. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. I will be going over how to install Stream Effects for OBS 29, so if you already have that installed, you can skip ahead. But a little disclaimer, you will need a NVIDIA video card to set up virtual green screen. If you have an AMD video card, try using a green blanket, green sheet, shower curtain, and using the chroma key in filters. That being said, this step by step will be going over the installation from scratch, a brand new fresh installation of OBS. I'm going to cover the installation for OBS very quickly. All we're going to do is go over to the website, search for OBS, and follow the install instructions. Okay, perfect. Once you see OBS 29 is installed, we're just going to give it a close. We're going to go back to the web page. We're going to open it up, and we're going to look for stream effects. Just go to obsprojects.com stream effects website here, click on it. Now once this here page loads up, you can click the download and test the 12B164. Uh, but for this example, I'm not going to use this one here because I couldn't get this one here working in uh, 28 or 29. So what I'm going to do is use an older version. To do this, I can go to the download page and up here in releases, you can click releases scroll down until you find release alpha 151 this is the one that i have currently working like i said you can try the new one uh when fixes come out those you will get the newest updates etc etc but for now we're going to install this one here so if you can't get the newest one working just click down to this one here once you click on it it's going to bring you to the page we're just going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom where it says download for windows and it's the same thing just download and install it Install it for all users. Yes, continue. Accept the agreement. Click next. All users. Click next. And install. Okay, once we have it installed, if you're using green screen or anything else, you need other things to make it show up. I'll show you, for example, when I launch OBS. I'm going to launch OBS here. Stream effects will show up in here. But the thing is, when you come in here, and you click on filters and click plus. Okay, it looks like they're all showing up here. Okay, so if they're all showing up here, you'll be all fine. They did have some updates here, but if it doesn't all show up here, what you can do is go back to their website, click on where it says OBS stream effects, scroll down to here where it says wiki, and in here, where it says stream effects, it'll it'll just let you know what you need for these here. So if you go down here and click on, let's say green screen, if virtual green screen does not show up, it's because you need to come here and download the NVIDIA Video Effects SDK uh, redistributable. I already have this installed. I forgot to uninstall these here things during the tutorial. That's something that I just forgot until now. Um, I uninstalled the stream effects and I uninstalled OBS, but I never thought to uninstall these here. So I already have them installed. That's why it showed up for me. So if they don't show up for you, you have to come here. You have to download the video SDK. When you click on this, it's going to open up a few downloads. Now you can do the audio and the video SDK and you'll have everything that you need. I think the AR is used mostly for like VTubing or like camera stuff. So just make sure that you can check with each one of them. You can check. So any one of these you use, just click on it and see if there's something needed for it. This one here doesn't need nothing. But like I said, if you're using virtual green screen, make sure that you download the NVIDIA Video Effects SDK redistributable. It's the same thing. I'll go through that. Make sure that you look through and download the one for your video card. I have a 30 series video card, so I'll download the 30 series video card one. If you have a 20 series or a 40 series, download the one appropriate for your video card. If you have an older one, I'm sorry, this technology isn't available for your video card. You'll have to, I don't know what else to do about that there. That's something I don't know anymore about. Well, you'll have to look for a different way. I don't know how to do that we're just going to click the download on that one okay once it's downloaded just click it to install it like any other application just click yes next 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 okay agree make sure that you close down obs before you start trying this because it's using those things i already have this installed like i said i'm just going through this here process to show that it, how it's done from scratch and just next 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 accept leave them defaults if you have your OBS changed around a whole bunch of different ways or in a different location, I won't be able to help you fix it. That's something you're going to have to figure out on your own. 
install it to the default location and move it afterwards. After it's installed though, that should be it. All we'll have to do is launch OBS. Once OBS is loaded up, we're just going to go in here. We're going to add a video capture device. We're going to call it video capture device 2. And we're going to use this green screen. We're going to move it over here. We're going to center it up a little bit here. We're going to leave everything on default. Um, this would be stuff that you'll have to check out later for your camera specific settings. We're just going to click OK because we're just using it for an example. We're going to click on it, add a filter. In here in the filters, we're going to go to the virtual green screen and click OK. Now in here you can mess with performance and quality. I have a 3080 in my computer so it's going to look fairly clean. Your results may vary, but that's as simple as it is. That's how you set up a green screen from scratch. That's your install stream effects. So if you can't get it working, you'll know to install the Alpha 151. And that's it. We got the virtual green screen set up and it only took us just a few minutes from scratch from nothing installing OBS. Some of my stuff is still here because I didn't delete all my settings and stuff like that. So you won't have like a whole bunch of things set up. You will have to add things. That's why I made sure to add my camera. But that's as easy as it is. I hope this here gets you going. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.